Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. Before we get into the review, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, I would be very thankful to you. So this time we're covering Dark Souls Remastered. And uh, I have 212 hours dedicated to this game. Um, I have the Prepare to Die Edition on Steam, I have Remastered on Steam, and I have Remastered on PS4, I guess, but it's, I'm on a PS5 right now. So yeah, 212 hours. That is a long time to spend on a mostly single-player game. I did co-op occasionally. You kind of have to. Um, well, I guess you don't have to, but you do... If, you, if you're going for the Platinum, which yes, I, I saw I have 100% of the achievements for this game three times. And in my opinion, it is the easiest game of them all. Actually, it is just the easiest game of them all, but it's also the easiest game to Platinum of them all. Um, but it's not a cakewalk still. If you play this for your first time, you're going to be completely lost. Uh, there will be, you know, this, this game released in the era of, uh, you know, like handbooks that you would read for like vi actual video game guide books. And I feel like that's where this kind of came from. Now we have the internet, obviously, uh, so you can just look it up if you need help. But theoretically, if you were to play this game without any uh, outside help, book, or internet, this would be extremely tough. Um, just because everything is so um, ambiguous, yeah, and there's really no, there's no like arrow pointing where to go. So in Dark Souls One, you play as a, uh, I guess, are you? No, no, no. You're not a crestfallen knight. You are the. Uh, you're basically you're an ash. I, I forget the, the official term because it's been a while since I played. I usually review games after I play them, but the Dark Souls is going to be an exception this time. So I don't remember the exact terminology, but um, like in Dark Souls 3 you are uh, unkindled, in Dark Souls 2 I think you're undead, in Dark Souls 1 I think you're you're like particularly trash. Like every game makes it a point that you're just worthless and you mean nothing and this game's like really drives that point home. So you're just like a worthless piece of ash. Um, you have some affiliation to the dark sign and you watch this badass opening cutscene, you learn about the four lords of the world, but honestly, let's not pretend like we know what we're talking about. This is a medieval undead uh, world that is in a caught in an undead purgatory, and your objective is to slay the four lords and take up the crown for yourself, or you can uh, leave the world doomed, depending on which ending you want to do. So I don't think we need to make this review too long. Uh, Dark Souls 1, though, I'll, I'll, I think this will be easier if I just talk about how I feel about the game honestly. Like, obviously it's a masterpiece game, but since I've played it 212 hours, I've done like 20 plus playthroughs, 100% of the game three times, I will say this is probably my second least favorite from software game, but it's not bad. We're still giving it a 10 out of 10 because it deserves a 10. Um, the level design is flawless in this for the most part, obviously. Um, What's that place called? The the fireplace Isolith. Lost Isolith is very questionable. You can almost like see the textures popping out there. Um, you can like see the you can see when they were actually. I hate it when in games it looks like you're still in the Unity asset uh, creator. So that's what Isolith feels like. But um, yeah, okay. So as far as negatives go, there are a lot of copy pasted encounters and bosses, which I don't appreciate. Um, the rolling is very sluggish compared to other uh, From Software games. You do get, you definitely get used to it, but I just want to mention that this game is kind of difficult to roll in if you are just booting up for the first time. You may feel a little bit um, out of control. If you play Dark Souls 3 for the first time and then Dark Souls 1 as your second game, which is exactly how I played it, Dark Souls 3 is so fluid and you have such control of your character. Dark Souls 1, you do not. You're just like this stiff little thing that has these sluggish rolls. Um, but yeah, honestly, any more negatives? I think, uh, I would say this negative applies to every single From Software game. I don't like that the, the, this is actually probably my number one issue with all these games. I don't like how it forces you to do a certain build or playthrough in each playthrough. It would be very nice if I could, uh, switch weapons anytime I want and just perform fine with that. But that's not how it works. There's a limited amount of Titanite slabs and chunks and materials and in Dark Souls 1 in particular you can't even switch your build even if you wanted to. They eventually add that uh, feature but that is going to be a negative for me for sure. Um, and I also want to say the Dark Souls 1 Covenants, 
I, uh, these are the worst version. Obviously, it's like the alpha version of the Covenants, right? They, they greatly improve in the future. The Covenants in this game are not that great uh, because you have to do one at a time. You can't save your progress with multiple Covenants. If you join a Covenant of imposing one, then they're going to like dislike you and it's going to create a lot of problems. Um, yeah, and I guess you could say the fact that there's literally no direction whatsoever is a negative, but let's be real, it's not. That is a trademark of Dark Souls. You're supposed to be lost and confused and afraid. That is the whole point. So yeah, Dark Souls 1 is a 10 out of 10 game because despite the fact that rolling is pretty awful, it still has really good combat. It has extremely memorable bosses. They might not be the most challenging ever, uh, especially now. If you play something like Elden Ring, Dark Souls 1 is a complete joke in comparison. Um, but it still has great boss encounters, the DLC in particular, Artorias, Calamite, Manus is questionable, but I still like Manus, um, and Ornstein and Smo is genuinely challenging. I would say, in my opinion, Ornstein and Smo is the only uh, truly difficult boss for veterans of this series. Um, on repeat playthroughs, Dark Souls 1, I think ONS is the only boss that's going to give you any trouble, but on your first ever playthrough, Calamite and uh, Manus will give you trouble as well, for sure. But, uh, yeah, what's good about this one uniquely, because honestly everything I said in the Bloodborne review kind of applies here, except the one, the big difference is that Dark Souls gives you a shield, and you kind of need a shield with uh, these encounters, because when you get to areas like Blight Town and just these clusterfuck swamp areas, you kind of need a shield just to crowd control. Um, but, uh, yeah. Sorry, it's actually kind of difficult to do a review for a game you haven't played in a while, but Dark Souls 1, I do love it, I just think it's too... It's honestly too easy for me now, but the reason it's uh, I still respect it greatly is because the this is a one-of-a-kind world. Uh, Dark Souls 3, for example, has far worse uh, level design than Dark Souls 1, and far worse, worse game route. In Dark Souls 1, you can kind of go anywhere you want. As soon as the game starts, there's like five or six different locations you can go. So many different ways to approach the game. In Dark Souls 3, there's basically only one way to approach the game, so not nearly as cool. And everyone has talked about this as well, the interconnectivity. Your mind will become blown when you discover some of the shortcuts that lead to other areas you couldn't possibly imagine would link up like that. But it links up so seamlessly, and it's really awesome. So, Dark Souls 1, um, it's... Uh, I guess it hasn't aged super well, but it still has, it's still a great game obviously with great bosses. We're giving it an honorary 10 out of 10, which is still a real 10 out of 10 in my list, but I just want to say, you know, by today's standards, yeah, Elden Ring kind of makes this game look bad, but it's still really good and definitely worth your time.